Woohoo, baby. It's Jay and today I'm here with an unboxing video. I have one package from Indigo which are two books that I ordered from them so I figured we would unbox them in this video and then I got some surprise book mail from Simon & Schuster Canada and they're these two wrapped books and I'm really excited to find out what they are because I'm pretty sure they're from the Thriller Chronicles thing that they got going on. So I got two more and I'm really excited to see what those books are. So without further ado, let us get started. So I guess I'll open my Indigo package first since I know what those books are since I was the one who ordered them. First one that I ordered was Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pal Preto, and I asked all my sugar daddies out there on the interwebs to get me a dang copy of this book and none of my sugar daddies came through. Probably because I don't actually have any sugar daddies, but I was disappointed. But all I really know about this is that it's about sisters who ride phoenixes and there's like a war between the two of them. But I really like phoenixes. They're like dragons kind of, but birds, but like they got wings and they're big, okay? So dragons, in my opinion. I'm just saying. I saw it a bunch on Twitter and since I saw it from like the very beginning, like months before it was even published, I was like, I need that in my life. So I decided to just bite the bullet and buy it myself because sugar daddies did not come through. And then the next book that I ordered was A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kremer. Everybody on my Twitter timeline has been giving this a 5 out of 5 stars. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. You know your girl is a huge fan of retellings, so I was like, everybody loves it and retelling, so we're getting it. So I got it. And hopefully I give it 5 out of 5 stars as well because I'll be really sad if I don't like it. Okay, so now moving on to the two packages that Simon & Schuster sent me. I'm going to open this one first. It says Raymond Quinlan's Bell Fountain Estate Contested by Secret Family. I actually think that these are like really cool because they have like the news articles on the front that like somehow relate to the book. So I never actually want to like rip this paper because I want to like read it afterwards. But I'm really excited to see what this is. Ready? It's The Homecoming by Andrew Piper, and I actually have an e-arc of this that I've been meaning to get around to, so now I have a full copy of it, and that's really exciting. So it follows this pair of siblings whose father ends up dying, and they're estranged from him, so they have this road trip to go read his will, and they find out that in order to obtain what he's giving them in the will, they have to stay at this cabin in the woods for 30 days with no contact to the outside world, and that's where they find out that their family has a lot of secrets they didn't know about, and it's like that kind of story. I'm guessing somebody dies, so I'm here for it. And then the next one that they sent me says 14 year old girl succumbs to car crash injuries, so let's see what this one is. I actually have an e-arc of this one as well, so this is actually really cool that I now have the final copies of both of them, but it's House on Fire by Bonnie Kistler. So it follows this step family that lived together and the son of the father ends up killing the daughter of the mother in a car crash where he was under the influence while driving. The son then goes on to say that he wasn't actually the one driving, it was the daughter and so it's like this huge trial and the parents are like trying to figure out if he's lying or not and it just sounds like it's going to be such an interesting thriller so I'm really excited for this one. Alright guys, so that was my unboxing for this time around. I want to say thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me these two books. I'm so excited to get into them. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!